Hi, this is Karina Gardner. This is a tutorial to help you create layouts from pre-made albums or quick pages. I like quick pages when I don't have the time to create a custom layout. I'm using my ultimate album for this demonstration, which I built specifically for myself to deal with a lot of my older photos. You can purchase it at designhousedigital.com. Okay, let's get started. So this is one of the layouts in the Ultimate Album, and you can see that there are these little gray squares which indicate that this area is transparent. So what I'm going to do is I've already opened my page and I've opened a few photos. If I click on one of my folda photos and I make sure that I'm on my top button here, which is my Move and Selection tool, if I come and click on the photo and pull on it, then it will fall right onto my Quick Album. So it automatically will create a layer for you with the new photo, and usually it creates the layer above your Quick Album. I'm just going to grab that layer and pull it down so that now it's behind, and you can see that this transparency works really well with this PNG file because I can see the photo. You could do several different things with it. You could leave it this size and um, use the photo as is, but I'm going to actually make it fit into one of these squares. So let's transform it. Make sure you're on the photo layer and then do Command T if you're on a Mac. The other thing you can do is come up to um, Edit and go to Free Transform. I'm just holding down my shift key to make sure that I don't skew the photo and pulling on the sides and I'm just going to move it right into this box and push on the arrow key and push apply. Okay, let me grab another photo. So I'm going to grab this photo and just click on it and then drag it over and you'll notice it is behind my layout um, and it just created a layer above this photo. So let's transform it again. Go to Edit Free Transform, hold down your Shift key, and I'm just going to put it right here. Click on your Mover Selection tool and push Apply. And you'll notice it is in front of my other photo, so that's a little bit of a problem. I can do a couple of things. I could take that layer, so go up to layer 2 and pull it below layer 1, but I still have all this excess, so another way to deal with it is simply to delete it. So I come up here to my Rectangle Marquee tool, and I'm just going to grab this, and I'll create a little dash dotted line for you, and then I'm going to delete it by going to Edit, Cut, Okay, so now it fits. So I would normally continue on and fill up every single one of these with photos. Um, so that is how easy it is. The other thing you might want to add is some journaling. Now this particular page doesn't really warn itself for journaling, so a great way to deal with that is to make one of these boxes a journaling box. So I'm going to just come over here and um, double click and uh, I think I'm going to grab one of these greens and push um, OK. And I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm just going to create myself a rectangle. Go back to your selection tool. OK, so now I've just created a nice box for myself and I could take my type tool and I could journal. I think that uh, my color is set to green. It is. So I'm just going to come over here and change that. So you could use um, one of these areas as a journaling area. If you have a layout like this, this is also from the Ultimate Album set, you could journal in one of these solid parts. Okay. Um, another great thing that you can do to change the look of your album 
is by using papers that you've purchased. If you want it to be just a little bit more custom, you can grab a paper. This is from my Distress Pastel set. Just grab it and pull it over, move it below the layer, and uh, you could take it and put it in one of these boxes. And you can see it's in several boxes. We just do the same thing. Grab the marquee, pull it, cut it, and cut it again. So now one of my boxes has this um, pink area that is covered by paper. So you can kind of change the look of these. You don't have to fill it up all with photos or if you have a ton of photos that you just need to get into a layout you could quickly put them in. Something else I want to show you with an album like the Ultimate Album is you can change the look by just rotating so or flipping it so because these are simple and and there's no direction to it so you could have a picture here here and here or you could go up to image and rotate your canvas and you could use this layout this way you could also reflect it that um, can change the look of it as well. And you can do that with this one. You could rotate it um, counterclockwise and that would change the look of it and you would move all your photos and your papers to face this way. So that is how you create um, photos very simply in a quick page album. For more information on um, the products used in this demonstration, please go to designhousedigital.com or you can visit me at my blog at karinagardner.com.